But if you can never truly be yourself, how will you ever know if somebody will be there for you? And remember, please watch to the end of this video. You have to see what happens next. Coach Greg, and in today's video, what is wrong with the world? Literally. And so it's going too far, has gone too far, and continues to go even further. And so there's this good looking girl, she makes a video, says, I'm looking for a gym partner. No problem with that. Goes to TikTok, hey, look at me, I look beautiful. Who wants to go and work out with me? And so guy makes a reaction, says, hey, I would like to. You should go on a date with me. I'm all up for it. I think you're great. I think we'd have a great time together. Problem is, people decided, no, he's not hot enough for you because you're so shit hot. You're so pretty. You're so beautiful. Well, you're blonde, luscious lock. And so the guy then goes to the internet and sees hundreds of comments, every last one saying, you're ugly. You're fugly. You don't deserve her. Also, the worst comment he read was, yeah, and that's the best you're going to get. And so imagine being that guy, imagine him having to read this. And so he makes a video and says exactly how he feels. And so he makes a video calling people out, saying this is what you as in you society is doing to me, as in people like me who are average looking. Not everyone in this world can be a Chad. And so just because you're not six foot two, rich, tall, dark, handsome, doesn't mean you're not worthy of respect. So about a month ago, I stitched a pretty girl on TikTok. And so I stitched a girl on TikTok. And so I had to look that up. I didn't know what it meant. I thought that meant perhaps they hooked up together, like they got stitched, like intertwined. I didn't know what it meant, but apparently stitching is when you take one video and you add your video and you do it together. And so he stitched a girl and he liked it till he read the comments. See what I did there? I'd like to take you out. Go play some putt-putt or ice cream or the beach, whatever. What's putt-putt? And so it's either going out for some golf or putt-putt. I'm not sure which one's more interesting. Frankly, I'm more enticed to do this. I think this might be some more fun. So who knows? Maybe he's into something. Maybe putt-putt. It's the new It's the new thing. So I go look at this video and shit because I got all these new comments and stuff, dude. And it's just hundreds of girls reminding me how fucking ugly I am, how fucking gross I am. I mean, imagine being this guy. You can see he's clearly getting emotional. He's tearing up. He, he's... He's describing how it feels to read so many comments from women saying he's ugly, that he's a loser, a creep, all because he's not a Chad. Just because the guy isn't good looking, he simply responded to a girl who said, hey, does anyone want to go work out with me? And he said, yeah, I would. She doesn't have to tear him apart. People don't have to write comments and say, you're a loser. You can simply ignore it or say thanks, but no thanks. And to me, it reminds me of when I responded to that girl at the gas station. She got home from the gas station, immediately went to TikTok to make fun of a guy who asked her out at the gas station. Perhaps he wasn't good looking enough. And so you make fun of him. If the guy had looked like Chris Bumstead, well, that'd be different. Oh, if he's six foot two and a millionaire, oh, well, that's great. But if you're average looking, how dare you talk to me? I'm better than you. Why? Because you have blonde hair, blue eyes, because you're not overweight. Who cares? We're all equal. We're all the same. And so it's hard to watch this video because you can see just how devastated he really is. And there is a surprise ending. And I was sitting there watching this thinking, the guy is going to end his life at the end of it. All I could think of was, please tell me the surprise ending it's not going to be that he's no longer with us. Because watching him speak about this and how much it hurt him, you could see this really dug deep to the core. And the guy says, I have thick skin. I can handle this. You don't think he's been made fun of in the past? And so people point out all these flaws, make fun of him, and it's as if they think they're being brilliant, coming up with new insults. And so clearly he's seen it all before. But when you see hundreds of comments, one after the other, reminding you of things you've heard growing up, imagine what that does to his self-confidence, his ego. And this happens every single day, no matter how good looking you are, how rich and famous you are, there's still going to be haters out there in this world. You have to stop listening to these people. No, it's hard, but what really counts is how do you see yourself? And of course, it's influenced by what other people are saying about you but you can't listen to these people. And there is hope, and you have to keep watching this video. I'm not good with women like that, dude. Like, I'm not a stud. 
I don't have no confidence. And so admittedly, he says, I'm not good with women. I don't know what to say. I don't know how to act. I don't know how they want me to hack. None of us do. People make videos. What do you say? What do you do? How do you act? What do you behave? When's it appropriate to do this? Not. How do you dress? What do you smell like? Nobody friggin' knows. Not even The Rock knows. And The Rock, he knows everything. Literally. Well, doesn't he? The Rock? Anyway, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter! At least The Rock knows that. And so he has no confidence, and then he takes a chance. Makes a stitch, a TikTok video saying, Hey, I'd be willing to take you out. No harm in that. Nothing wrong with that. Why not approach someone at the gas station? Why not say hi? Why can't we go out in the real world and talk to people like human beings? Whether you're ugly, average looking, amazing looking. We should all have the right to say hi. To introduce ourselves. Not saying you have the right to call someone a name, to slap their ass, and to be overly obnoxious, but to simply say hello and take part in polite and friendly conversation? What is wrong with that? But apparently people think, no, we're better than you. We're good looking girls. We're hot. You're not hot. You don't have the right to talk to us. How dare you think that you're good enough for me? Look at you. Really, why don't you look at yourself? What makes you think you're so great? I'm not going to be ready to talk to her. I'm never going to talk to her. Actually, this last week, I altered my gym routine so that she don't see me no more because I'm terrified. And so these people, they live in the same town, go to the same gym. And so he had to stop training at that same time because he was too uncomfortable, nervous to ever run into her because of all the comments and the things that people were saying. And so imagine this. All because the guy said, I would be willing to go on a date with you. And do you all wonder why people are intimidated, nervous, or frankly, just downright scared to go and talk to women? I've taken down all my dating site profiles. After I want, I'm done. And in fighting back the tears, he's admitting, look, I am terrified. I no longer am going to be on dating sites. I don't have the confidence. I'm done. I'm done dating women. This is the last straw. How many of you feel like this? So many people are so uncomfortable and nervous to just be themselves because... Guess why? Because you're scared that this is going to happen, that they're going to react to the real you, and it's not going to be good enough. And then what? And so people put on a front. They pretend to be something they're not. And at least then if they get rejected, they're not rejecting their true self. They're rejecting somebody they invented, they pretended to be. But if you can never truly be yourself, how will you ever know if somebody will be there for you? And remember, please watch to the end of this video. You have to see what happens next. And this guy, you can tell he has thick skin. He had the courage, the balls to make this video, to go out and tell hundreds of thousands of people exactly how he feels. That truly does take courage. How many people would have dared to put themselves out in a video just like this? To be emotional and to say to people, this is what that did to me. This is how you made me feel. And please stick around. You might see extra skittens. And trust me, you're going to want to see the ending to this one. Some of these women really have the audacity to be like, oh my God, where's all the nice guys at? Um, you bitches are probably ruining them. And so finally, someone makes a video and calls all these other cookbooks out. Says, why do you think there are no good guys out there? Because of the cookbooks y'all saying that you're doing. Not exactly date ready, but... Now I am. And frankly, she was date ready as is. She didn't have to get all dressed up, put makeup on. She looked great just the way she was. And what's really more important? How you're dressed, makeup, hair, or what you say, act, behave, what you really think. I mean, after all, you see a half million dollar car, you walk up to it, looks great. You get in, it smells like skunk. You're gonna wanna stay there? And so that's like a person's personality. Yeah, it looks great on the outside, but once you get to know them, is their personality skunk? Is it cookbooks? If it is, you're going to leave. And so she says, I see through all this nonsense. I see beyond what those girls are saying, and I want to get to know you, the real you. I like putt-putt. I like ice cream. That sounds like a great time. And so let's go on a date. I'm also not afraid to throw a right hook with bitches that like to run their mouths and say stupid shit like those comments. If you would like a date or you just want to practice run to get ready for your gym girl, I volunteer as tribute. And so clearly there is hope. And so she says, if you want a date or even just a practice date to get ready for your gym girl, then I'm here for you. And frankly, who cares if it's a gym girl? Just because you work out doesn't mean your partner needs to lift weights. Sure, you might want them to. It's great if they do, you share passion. But even if they don't, does it really matter? Does me and Allie go to the gym work out together? No, we used to. Don't now. Been four years she has been lifting with me. 
But does that mean you can't find something else in common? That you have to be exactly the same? And so hopefully this video gives you some hope. Not everything has to end in tragedy. There can be a positive message after all. But not all of us are self-centered, stuck-up bitches like these girls are. Don't let them ruin that girl for you. And so don't let one bad relationship or the comments of others affect you and ruin your self-esteem, your belief that it is possible. There is someone there for you. No matter who you are, what you're like, there is someone out there for you. If you never try, if you never keep looking, you'll never find that person. And so I'm hoping you're as pleasantly surprised as I was because as I was watching this video and seeing this guy so emotional, I was very concerned that it was not going to end well. But to see the guy end up with a date with this great looking girl who has an amazing personality, not like those other stuck up girls that are just caught up on one thing and one thing alone. And so hopefully you have the confidence to be yourself, to put yourself out there and don't worry. You're probably going to get made fun of by some people. It's inevitable. But if you don't put yourself out there and you're never acting yourself, you're never going to find that special someone that's truly made for you. Hopefully you liked the video. And as always, I encourage you, if you want HGLT supplements or my circle diet book, the cookbooks, training books, coaching plans by me and my team, use code GREG, 10% off. That's G-R-E-G. -E click the link in the description. Subscribe, click the bell button, comment for the algorithm. Don't forget to watch one of the bloops, at least just one. You don't have to watch them both. And until next time, I am out. Look at the cute little kittens. They just run up on me. Hey, little skitten. Hi, everybody. I'm a skitten. I'm seven weeks old.